Hey everyone, it's Overlord73. Um, now I'd actually finished playing Pandora's Tower, but I wasn't happy with the ending that I got, because it was a sad one. Nobody likes a sad ending, I want the happy ending. So I've um, started New Game Plus, I've played all the way through the game, and I've got the if affinity between uh, the two characters to the max. As you can see on the left hand side of the screen, it's glowing superbly so now we're going to play through the last chapter again and we're going to get the happy ending if you just want to skip straight to the ending i will put a timer in the description so you can go straight there if you don't want to watch all the the boss fight and everything again Or maybe you haven't even watched all the playthrough before and you just want to watch this. Elena. Elena. But why? The curse, has it not been lifted? How gutted can you get? We don't need to talk to her again, and really, so do we? we find ourselves here. Again. Trust in the bond you share with Elena, in the power of the Arachnus chain, and in yourself. And fight to the very end. We must go. But the day may be at hand when my tribe will be free from the sins of the past. What do you need? Probably not a great deal because I've got no money. Today? Because basically, to get the affinity up, you have to buy loads of gifts. So I've spent everything, every penny I've had on Elena to get the affinity up. Well then, select the items or something else you wanted. Uh, I've upgraded the sword a bit more from last time round. There's only those two that we haven't done yet. Still not sure what that middle thing is, so if anybody knows, let me know. Be nice to get that maxed up, I must admit. Uh, I've picked a new weapon up as well, a stake, which I used for about 30 seconds, didn't like it, and swapped back to the sword. Let me just go through anything else that I may have... Um, oh yes, 
the doors that we came across in the first playthrough which we couldn't open um, basically we need this key which is the crimson key once you start new game plus you can actually buy that off Mavdi uh, I think it was 500 coins I think and that opens all those um, crimson doors that you see throughout the game which basically just go into secret areas where you just collectibles and various different things nothing too exciting really I think actually that weapon was through one of them as well but with your chain maxed out it was a lot easier second time through as well new game plus it destroyed the early bosses Which door was it? Was it that one? And you see, I've got, <laughs> I've got no health potions or anything, so I can't afford many fuck ups. Although I do think I've got three of the stage stones equipped, so I've, in essence, I've got an extra three lives. But hopefully. I'll have a better idea how I actually defeat the boss this time, so we shouldn't need him too much. Someone singing. And it ain't me. Elena. My way, those stairs are a long way up. And you don't get to pick that wooden toy thing up again. Which turns out it was part of that boy's, you know, the boy that died in the dreams, it was part of his toy, I think. So you give that to Alan as a gift. start of uh, New Game Plus and it gives, uh, gives the affinity quite a good boost Centuries have passed, and now finally we can be together. <gasps> Aaron, no! Get away! Oh. <gasps> I did 
different cutscenes. So we could be together. Could this be her? Could this be experiment zero? That's right. But why so cold? We've been together since the Harvest Festival, haven't we? So the dreams Elena saw when she ate Master Flesh. Those were your memories? No! Get out from inside me! <laughs> what is this girl sniveling about? Aaron did it all for me. He brought back that Master Flesh. So I could regain my full power. Now I will be together with Aaron, and we will become complete. Oh, Aaron! You look just like him, you know. So, you are... Stop! Get away from Aaron! This time, we will be together and bring peace. Shit. That's not a great start. Bring it on. We'll get me for dinner in it. Ha! Ah, crap. I won't let you go. Keep still. Certainly good job I've got those sage stones equipped because I'm going to need them. Let 
What's your thinking? What's your pleasure? That'll do. Stone. Gotta love it. chance do I need, bitch? Oh shit, forgot about that. What a fuck up. Dodge it easy, it's too slow. Oh, you fucking joking, bitch. Let's 
get rid of this shit. This one. shit off. I hate that attack so much. Run, 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 run. Oh, that was a close one. The bitch nearly got me. Fuck off with you. Fucking big light thing. Cowbag. Don't 
Watch this. Yeah, so I take a sage to an Akumbat life bitch. No, you, your ass is mine. Okay, yes, it's mine this time. I'll tell you, new one, bitch. How would you like them apples? No, 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 this cannot be. You want a bat? Guess I lied. Huh. Elena. Aaron. Zirin. She wants something from you. She wants part of your chain. She wants the part taken from her, five centuries ago. Ooh. On that day, five centuries ago, the man who was meant to join her, to become a master alongside her, was your ancestor. Uh. The only reason she went after you is because of the bloodline you shared with the man she loved and lost that day. So, the reason you were cursed, the reason she entered your soul, was that you were close to Aaron? No, that's not it. It's because I loved Aaron. It's because I loved you. Uh. From your back. Get in. Your skin is pure and untainted. The curse has been lifted. <laughs> Can it be true? Well, if the curse is no more, our work here is done. Baron. Let's go. That didn't sound too good. What the fuck? Oh shit. That's not so sexy. Fight or what? Well, this ain't stopping. Oh, 
Oh, ich gehe nicht mal an. Run, 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 run. Oh, yeah. In your face. Tell that bitch. Well, she wanted the chain back. That's not good. Catch. Go, girl. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold. See ya. Now that the Oracle's chain has regained its power, Experiment Zero can be brought to an end, and the scar closed forever. The truth is, my people, the Vestra, played our part in causing this calamity. <gasps> Five hundred years ago, my people worked for the cause of peace. We helped create the Masters. But then, when Experiment Zero failed, it spawned a series of tragedies. I... See. Those thirteen people who offered themselves up to serve as vessels, the sadness, the fury, the pain, their anguish, it haunts our people to this day. Can it be true? Now, listen to me. You have no more business here. You should be on your way. Go back to your world. A world that is now at peace. Experiment Zero. The Twelve Masters. We are sorry for what we did to you. We know what we must do. So, old friend. Our final task. We must wield the Oracle's chain. We must make use of its power as we did five centuries before, and again five decades ago. Lend us your power. ancestors never once gave up hope With each new generation born our future 
Our hope lived on, the hope that this day would come. Let us now join them. In the year 511 of the Unified Era, the vast valley known as the Scar vanished from the land of Imperia, and the 13 towers were destroyed. Mavda wrote a letter to the king of Illyria. This spurred the monarch to make a full and frank confession of the army's research into biological weapons in the 13 towers, and how this had triggered the cataclysm that created the Scar. No one knew the whereabouts of Mavda and her husband, but Mavda's tribe, the Vestra, were granted territory by the king. Here they set about building a country of their own once more. For the first time in five centuries, Imperia boasted ten nations. With the disappearance of the Scar, Athos sued for peace with Illyria. As the war drew to a close, so each nation's army was reduced in scale. For the first time in half a century, peace prevailed across Imperia. With the end of hostilities, the army also called off its hunt for Aaron and Elena. The couple went to Elena's village and took over her family's trade. The Kingdom of Illyria sent a team to investigate the Thirteen Towers, but all they found was a section of the chain that had supported them. The scar was gone as were the towers and the beasts within them. Gone too was the baleful curse which had plagued the land. The team did make one discovery. Aaron was indeed the descendant of the woman used in Experiment Zero. The bloodline of her and her husband could be traced directly to him, explaining her fierce desire to be united with him. The team tracked down Aaron and Elena to inform them of this fact. So there we have it. A happy ending. A lot better ending. I'll let the credits roll. Hopefully at the end it will say we, that we got the S ending. And... Uh, yeah, there you have it. Thanks for watching again, guys. I'll catch you all next time.
five centuries before, on that fateful day, a husband and wife were to serve as vessels to unite the 12 laws. This couple were to be used in Experiment Zero. It's Experiment Zero. The subject is pregnant. What did you say? Call it off now. Hurry, it may not be too late. What's the meaning of this? The husband, he's fine. But how about his wife? It's too late. Experiment Zero, it's already begun. Ah, uh, you failed. Be silent. We must focus on saving the child. With the power of this chain. Where? Where have you gone? Uh, uh, it's... It's about your wife. I'm afraid she didn't make it. But... In all likelihood, your wife was unaware that she was pregnant. Right until the very end. You're gone. You're gone. But he looks so much like Reuben. Our child is every bit as beautiful as Reuben was. Our future is secure. Our bond lived on beyond our deaths. Thanks to you.